In this video, I'm going to be breaking down what I think is going to be the most effective defense in Madden 23. This is after studying a lot about the game and just playing the beta, talking with people. I think this is probably one of the top defenses, at least at the start of the year. And ironically, I think it's been the best defense in Madden 22 uh, for a lot of different reasons as well. And this is also was the first defensive ebook that I released in Madden 22. And I think this is a very effective defense for the meta that is going to exist in Madden 23. Now, in Madden 23, in my personal opinion, I think that the best way to play defense is to play a cover three, um, essentially a Tampa three, um, where basically what you're going to be doing is kind of using your outside safeties as outside thirds because they're going to flow into the areas of the field that they need to be able to defend such as crossers deep corners deep posts i think it's one of my favorite favorite defensives uh, at least in the beta and i think it's going to be very effective so i wanted to break down the core coverage this is something i've talked about since i want to say august uh, noah talked about it in september it was my first defense of the year and um let's just get into the video if you want to get my full 335 odd defensive ebook the link is in the description to sign up for my patreon uh, by joining the Patreon, that's where you get everything. All of my ebooks are available there. I've got over 30 offensive and defensive ebooks. And the 335 odd, um, like I said, I just think this is this is really, really good. So I'm going to give you a couple of different um, techniques for the blitz. I'm going to give you two blitzes today that I think are really effective. And then I'm going to talk about uh, the coverage, which is really the primary uh, focus of the video. So I'm going to come out in just a bunch uh, formation because, you know, bunch is meta every year most people like to run bunch and i think it'll be um won't be that much different in this game so uh the the what we want to do here is if you look at the bottom left uh or the bottom of the screen you're going to notice the packages menu we're going to flick the right joystick to the left one time now i like to do that after manually subbing everybody in where i want them once you've manually subbed them in they won't change but what will happen is the principal will still be there this has been effective since Madden 18, but it's really good this year, um, and it will be really good in Madden 23, and that is the Tampa 3. So um, we're going to flick the right joystick to the left one time. You have to do that. You're going to see that we're going to get the SS inside package, and then we're going to come out and play Tampa 2. Now, if you want to play a baseline auto flip off defense, you can. Um, I actually recommend with the way the pass rush works in Madden 23, the, the first blitz is actually going to probably be better for Madden 23 from my testing. The second blitz is actually really good for Madden 22. Um, it can still work well in Madden 23, um, but I just think the, the way we're going to want to do it is, is more indicative of the first setup. So uh, here's what we want to do. All we're going to do is we're going to come out. Um, we're going to spread our defense. So what you want to do is you want to hit the R1 button or RB button. You're going to hit up on the left joystick. Now, what this is going to do is it's going to back off your coverage. It's going to spread your linebackers and spread your D-line. Um, and really, the only reason we're doing this is to save ourselves one step. If you want to just spread line, spread linebackers, you can. But you see here, we spread our line. We spread our linebackers. Um, I, you can use either of these guys. I normally am going to want to use her, um, you know, the, the guy on the side of the running back. I think it's just better for shooting the run. We're going to then press coverage, crash our D-line down. And then from here, we're going to put our outside or both of our safeties in outside thirds on their corresponding side. So you see how we get new adjustments. We're going to put our left safety in an outside third to the left, our right safety in an outside third to the right. And then you're going to see that it leaves this middle void. Now in Madden 23, um, the middle third zone is one of the best zones in the game. And so what you'll see here, we're just going to put him in a middle third. And then if you wanted to, you could create hard flats on the outside, um, or you could leave it as is. And then you see here we have this four-man rush. I like to QB contain. You don't have to, but you can. And then at the snap of the ball, we're just going to run down at the center and then jump into coverage. And what you'll see is this is one of the best defenses in the game. As you see here, we get this nice little disengage pressure. And as you can see, the coverage is incredible. And why the coverage is so good, I'm going to utilize the play vertical. Uh, I'm going to utilize the vertical play to kind of illustrate why this coverage is so good. And the best way I can illustrate that is by not having a pull route over here. In Madden 23, you're going to see a little bit of a, 
I think a similarity. So, like I said, you could spread your lines, spread your linebackers if you don't want to have to press um, or or do that. And then you just do this right here. And then what you'll see is if there's no pull route, this is going to kind of be a little bit more indicative of how this is going to play. That crosser is very difficult to throw because, again, the flow coverage is going right into those areas. And so why this is so good, they've recrafted outside third zones this year. And when you play them from the safeties and then you get the cloud flat, which is ideally, our, uh, at least in the beta, has probably been my favorite zone has been the middle third and the cloud flats. These cloud flats play really, really good. This vertical hook is kind of your underneath middle zone. If you want to put him in a hard flat, you can kind of do whatever you want with him. And then if you really wanted to, you could throw this guy in a zone or you could man him up or whatever. You could blitz your user, you know, if you wanted to do something like this. And then you could take this backside guy and put him in man coverage on the tight end or whatever you want to do. And what you'll see is, like I said, this is just a really, really good coverage and um, it's really good pressure. Now, the second way that I want to show you the, the blitz is the loop concept from Madden, 20, uh, Madden 22. All we're going to do is we're going to um, spread our D-line, we're going to contain, and then we're going to shift our linebacker to the right. Now, what we want to do is we want to use this linebacker. The coverage is still identical, so the coverage is still the same. The only thing that changes is the pressure, and then when you bring this guy, I like to bring him over the center. So you see here, just kind of right in this little area right here. We still have that cover three. And then what you'll see here is the loop pressure. That's a little bit more of an effective pressure for Madden 22. The second one that I gave you is really good. And then let's say we want to send the goons. If we want to send the goons uh, with this defense, what I like to do is play hard flats. So I'm going to shave my coverage down and play hard flats. And then I'm just going to blitz this nickel corner. And this five-man version is really good as well. You can still do the outside thirds. And as you can see, it's just a really, really simple and effective way to play defense. And so you can go through those three or four or five um, different types of blitzes uh, to be effective. But this is the 3-3-5 odd defense in a nutshell. Um, if you want to learn um, exactly how I like to run this defense, make sure you check out my Patreon because we're going to be doing a lot of content on the 3-3-5 odd over the course of the next couple of weeks, just kind of updating it, getting it ready for Madden 23. And then we've also already got a ton of concepts broken down uh, in that as well. So this is, like I said, it's one of my favorite ways to play defense. And then if you wanted to play like a little bit of a double Mabel and only rush two, then what you could do is you could do something like this. So I've got my double Mabel, if you will, and then I've got a bluff blitz, and then I'm going to blitz this guy. And so as you can see here, um, you know, this is another way that you can kind of get at it. You could do it more so like this. And then, you know, as you can see here, you got great coverage, you got nice flow, and you're getting super fast shifts. Madden 23, I think this coverage shell and this principles are going to be very effective because the outside third zones are probably the best zone, the middle thirds and outside thirds, cover three, very effective coverage. And what you're going to notice with these coverages is they're going to jump corner routes because they're going to play a lot more similar to the way 91 zone played in Madden 18. And if you guys know anything about Madden 18, one of the meta coverages was the cover two with those cloud flats. You could also take that concept and, and you look at the LB cross three show two from Madden uh, 18 later in the year, very effective. So anyways, guys, that is how I think Madden 23 is going to look at least day one. And this is a defense that you can use that's going to be very effective. Thanks for watching the video. And if you want to learn more about my nickel 335 odd defense, you can get my, all of my uh, defensive ebooks by joining our Patreon. It's only $10 to sign up. There's a link in the description below, and it will get you access to um, all of my Madden ebooks.